Welcome to 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. Good morning on 10 a.m. on Tuesday. I remember how I was traveling to San Francisco and I said, I always bring a yoga mat when I travel. And then I got to my hotel room and I was like, oh no, I left my yoga mat on the plane. Well, I have a new yoga mat. This shows how much I do yoga. I've been talking about how much I want to get into yoga for years, and I've done it intermittently, but something that I have a lot of trouble with is when I travel, I'll bring a yoga mat, but I don't really know like what poses to do, how to actually practice yoga. So, Olivia and I have been talking for years about doing yoga together. So, if you guys don't know, Olivia, she is an amazing rock climber, which is how we know each other. But even more impressive is Olivia's skills with yoga. As an instructor, she travels around the world teaching and practicing yoga. So um, we're finally linking up after awesome. like three years of talking about doing yoga yeah, together. Yeah. Um, what, I, what really attracted me to come and learn from you is just the fact that you know about traveling and you know about climbing and how yoga can kind of intrinsically weave into helping climbing. Yeah. Um, so tell me about Ashtanga yoga. Um, so Ashtanga yoga is a sequence yoga. So the first series is called the primary series. And the whole principle around it is it's a very grounding series. So it kind of works you know, with the hips, um, and it, it sort of prepares you for the series to come. And so everyone does these postures, which are kind of like the warm up. Okay. And then, so this side has um, the primary series, which are these postures. And then this is the finishing sequence. And so what I always really loved about this was I was always traveling a lot to like Europe climbing. And when I found yoga, I could take this with me. Right. You know, and I could still practice. If I learn all of these movements today, how do I then get this sheet? Um, well, I can give you one. <laughs> but you can, you can find it online. Okay. Um, but the real value of um, practicing is to practice with someone like me. <laughs> right. Because then um, you're learning the correct alignment and things like that. So the sheet is more just like for you to remember how to do the posture. So today I'm going to teach you like a lot of these postures. Yeah. And then the more you come, the more you remember what to do and your body remembers that proprioception of the movement. Yeah. And so this is kind of more just like when you travel and you're on your own, you can be like, oh yeah, I remember that posture. And right. You know how to do it. So this sheet doesn't have like instructions like turn your foot and do this. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like more, a topo in rock yeah, climbing. It's exactly. like the guidebook isn't going to teach you exactly. how to do I the like actual that. climb. So in theory, one day, mm -hmm. my hands will touch the yeah, ground. Exactly. <laughs> I have a long journey ahead of me. Thank you so yeah, much. I feel like I'm self-admittedly so bad at stretching. Like I just don't really have the discipline when I get home from training, even though I know it's super important yeah, yeah. to do it on my own. So I feel like with this sheet and with these lessons and coming back and learning yeah, yeah. from you, yeah. I feel like I can we improve. Can start <laughs> yeah. That. So Tommy may not know this yet, but next week's today I'm on a Tuesday episode. I want to be sipping margaritas by the pool. I swim. I just got new goggles. Swimming is a great workout. I could be there. We could cool off. Just did yoga. <laughs> so after yoga, I went to the climbing gym and I was training. And then I got home. And for the last couple hours, I've just been doing some busy work on my computer. I'm actually on the brink of launching my new website, which I'm really excited to share with all of you. Um, I'm now just looking at some of the details of the aesthetic and making sure everything works before we go live. So stay tuned for that. And I am pretty hungry now. So 
I want to show you guys this new recipe that I created last night. Essentially, all of what you see here is going into the food processor. If you say food processor like more than twice, it sounds super weird in your mind. But anyways, that's the subject that we have here, which is bars. Now, are you guys ready for the secret ingredient? For these bars, I'm going to use the three color maca blend. I like the taste of it and I like how it makes me feel. This looks pretty good to me. It is essentially kind of like a doughy like texture that then I roll out onto um, just a sheet of parchment paper and I stick it into the freezer and then I can cut it into slices. So if you guys wanna see, fast forward. If none of you guys have ever tried maca, I suggest that you try it out and let me know what you think. And let me know in your comments if you also are a fan of maca.